Hey guys, before we get into this video, I just want to remind you guys, I got some shows coming up on the West Coast. I'm doing a West Coast tour. Uh, these are the cities I'm going to. It's gonna be a lot of fun. San Francisco sold out like super quick, so we added a second show. Tacoma also sold out, so we're doing a late show the same night. So those tickets are available too. So I'm doing a Valentine's Day show in San Francisco. So come spend your Valentine's Day with me, dude. It's gonna be fun and good. So yeah, tickets in the description. See you there, enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? So good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. You see what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single one of my videos, okay? So press that subscribe button for an extra greeting, folks. Okay, so this video, I feel like it's a little different from my usual ones uh, because, you know, usually I'm talking about like a YouTuber or like a weird like TikTok trend. But, but this week, I'm going head to head, toe to toe, with one of the most famous celebrities in the world, Steve Wilkos. Dude, I got, <laughs> I got a fucking problem with you, Steve. Pull up. All right, we got a boxing match, all right? I'm kidding, obviously. Today, we're going to be talking about everybody's favorite Canadian boy. And I'm not talking about Alex Trebek. I'm, of course, talking about Justin Bieber. I feel like by the time this video comes out, uh, what I'm talking about and this whole thing will be old news. Um, and a lot of other YouTubers will have talked about it already because I take a long time to edit my videos. But here we are. I wanted to talk about Justin Bieber this week because he's doing some very weird very things. Weird. Before we get into everything that's happening and before the, the Justin Bieber stands tell me to uh, frick off because they're too young to swear, I just want to say... I'm usually a big fan of Justin Bieber's music, okay? I saw him live a few years ago and he put on like an amazing show. Uh, Purpose is an, a fucking great album. Under the Mistletoe is actually the best Christmas album ever made. And dude, Eeny Meeny slaps so hard. It's unbelievable. Even though that's technically a Sean Kingston song. Our boy Justin, he's done some very questionable things in the past and he's had his fair share of controversies, but he's still, he still remains to be one of the most like popular celebrities in the world which is why his recent behavior is so strange. So before we talk about his recent behavior, we gotta talk about uh, his past, the past few years to put the whole thing into context. So a few years ago, Justin was on this huge world tour and um, he ended up canceling the rest of his shows to you know, just like take a break and focus on his mental health, which is amazing. I respect that so much. You know, I can't imagine the life that guy lives, how much pressure is on him. So a few years go by, uh, he gets married and he appears in like, some songs here and there, but he never puts out his own music, you know? He's only ever really like featured in songs. Like the DJ Khaled ones, and uh, that, that that most the most recent one, the Ed Sheeran one, you know, that good Ed Sheeran one that we all listen to every day. <laughs> so after years of not releasing any solo music, uh, on December 11th, 2019, he puts a picture on his Instagram that says Bieber 2020. Whoa. Wow. He was telling us how good his vision was and we were all very happy for him. Hey guys, Bieber here, I got 2020. <laughs> but no man, people start freaking out when they saw that, you know? Cause you know, the Biebs is coming back. He's, our boy is coming home. And you know, we, and we thought we would never see it happen, but never say never. <laughs> So everybody was super stoked for his return. He announced like this a documentary series he's doing, a new album, a new tour. Everyone was so excited. And on December 28th, Justin Bieber drops his comeback single, Yummy. And people didn't like it. <laughs> Some of the lyrics are uh, uh, pretty ridiculous. Let a match get litty, babe. Oh my God, love him, but Yummy is just like not it. It's not Yummy's that good. You it's not it. Oh my God, it's not it. Oh my God. What is this Yummy bullshit? What is this it? man is really out here going from last year propping up the known abuser Chris Brown <laughs> Okay, okay Justin! To trying to sound like Chris Brown on this new track Yummy. Pretty not good. It's not good. This this sucks. So yeah, not the best reception uh, And people were very vocal about how they felt about this song uh, There's a lot of people making you know jokes and memes about it and I made one too I know you know, I just had to toss one in the bunch, you know, couldn't hurt. <laughs> the joke that I made was about Justin Bieber at his at his wedding saying like, yum, yummy, yummy, you are yum, 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 yummy, yum, yum. Because a lot of the backlash on this song was because of the lyrics. Like this song had like five songwriters and that's the stuff you come up with. You're talking about your wife, Justin, <laughs> your wife. My wife. The girl that you promised to spend the rest of your life with. 
and you're like, yeah, she, she tastes pretty good. <laughs> like that's what you say to someone when they ask you how your how your ice cream Sunday was, you know? Not how you feel about your life partner, bro. <laughs> you know, my wife is like well seasoned, bro. Like, yo, if Gordon Ramsay saw my wife, he'd be like, bloody delicious. delicious. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the song is out for a few days, and this is when stuff starts to get weird. So Justin Bieber uh, starts promoting this his new song, Yummy, which, you know, artists do, that's normal. But Justin promoted the absolute shit out of this song. Like, holy smokes. Like when you scroll up on his Instagram, it's just the lyrics of his song, basically. It's just yummy over and over again. That's all it is, dude. And it was not just Instagram, okay? If you go to his YouTube, there's a Yummy Lyric video, the Yummy Official video, uh, the Justin B Yummy Fan Lip Sync, uh, Yummy Believers React, a Yummy Animated video, a Yummy Food Fight, and a Yummy, another Yummy Animated video. Wow, that's, wow, a, that's lot, a lot, Curtis, Curtis you all, you just, all said just said right, right now. now. Well, there's more, okay? There's a Yummy Dance Challenge, a hashtag Yummy Dance Challenge. There's a Yummy Game. <laughs> which is just a Pac-Man ripoff. He also started a TikTok account and only lip syncs to Yummy. Those are the only videos he does on there. Like he really, he just shoved it down everybody's throats. He really, he really tossed it in there and it was not Yummy. Okay, it was yucky. Yeah, you got that yucky. Uh. And then he, uh, I guess he tried to do some alternative marketing strategy where he posted a bunch of pictures of babies on his Instagram with the caption, yummy. <laughs> and let me just say right now, that's super weird. Hey, Biebs, very weird of you to do that, my guy. Like, what is that? What does that mean? Do you eat babies, Justin? I don't, I don't get it. Yummy is what you say to food or your wife, I guess. And then you're posting a, a, a just babies. I'll, dude. I'm all rack my it's gonna, it's gonna I can't even talk dude <laughs> it's racking my brain so much that I guess I guess that means he eats babies which is fucked up you know that gives a whole different meaning to his song baby <laughs> and obviously it wasn't just me who was weirded out by this uh, a lot of people were understandably so he puts out a song seemingly about fellatio with lyrics like you got that yummy yum say the word on my I'm on my way and then promotes it by posting 13 babies? Uh, I beg your pardon, bro. That's a big old, you got a big old pardon from this guy. Oh wait, sorry. Hold on, I'm actually getting, okay. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm just getting uh, some word on this current situation. Uh, this just in, Bieber is a weirdo. So when I saw that, when I saw the whole baby thing, I was like, okay, another celebrity doing something just fucking insane. What else is new? Um, but then I saw these next posts and videos and these are what actually prompted me to actually like write this video. So in a, in a now deleted Instagram post, Justin Bieber posted this like step-by-step -step guide on how to make sure his song will get to number one. Cause that's what Justin Bieber really wants. He just wants his song to be number one and you'll see that going forward. So yeah, let's, let's look through that post right now. How to get yummy to number one. Spotify. Create a playlist with yummy on repeat and stream it. Don't mute it. Play at a low volume. Let it play while you sleep. If you are not from the US, you can download a VNP app. Okay. VPN. Proofread. Holy shit. Set the VPN to US and then create a Spotify account. iTunes. Buy the song on iTunes. Buy the song multiple times on Justin's website, YouTube. Don't repost the video, like it instead. Stream on YouTube, log out of your account. Don't skip ads, don't mute it, don't repeat, refresh. <laughs> I gotta fucking post that, that YouTube, that last one. I gotta post that every time I upload a video. <laughs> hey man, if Justin's doing it, I can do it too. Dude, that's like really sleazy, right? I think that's also the first time I've ever unironically used the word sleazy in my life. That's how sleazy it is. It's so sleazy, I had to use that word. And it's not even being like, hey, please, please listen to my song. I really want that spot. It's like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get a VPN app and manipulate stream data so it makes it seem like more people are listening to my song in the US. And also play it while you sleep. Thanks. You know the best way to get your streams up? Just put out a good song, man. That's literally all you can do. He's at, the, he's at a, a level in his career 
where no matter what he puts out, he's gonna have millions and millions of people listening to it because he's Justin Bieber. It's just fucking sad to see, man, because a lot of Justin's fans are younger and they look up to him so much. So they're gonna do that. They're gonna go to their parents. They're gonna force their parents to get a VPN for them to use. They're gonna stream Yummy on repeat all fucking day and night. And the parents are gonna get sick of the song. So the parents are gonna kick the kid out of the house. Obviously, Justin, do you want kids living on the street? Is that what you want? Cause that's what that does. Cancel. <laughs> so you're all probably thinking, wow, Curtis, that's gross. I can't believe he did that. It can't get much worse than that. Well, you're wrong. It does. It gets a lot worse. So Justin Bieber was doing a bunch of Instagram lives to promote his song. And okay, let, let's just watch it. I can't even describe it. Let's let's watch the video. Hi, Justin. Hello. Hey. Justin, hi. How are you? Oh my god. I'm good. Hi. How are you? Oh my god. Do you have I your computer not... with you? Uh, yeah, one second. Do you have your computer with you? No, I don't have my computer with you, but you I your... wanted to see you. Oh my god. Are no, you did you it. download my song on iTunes? Yes, I did. Yes, I did because I love you. 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 Did you purchase it, my? Oh my God. But you know, we need. We need. I need you to purchase on iTunes. I have it purchased. You did both. Yes. You've been crushing yes. it as a fan. Yes. Absolutely yes. crushing it. Yes. You're doing everybody around the world so proud. Isn't that so sad, man? Here is this little girl who's so excited to finally like talk to the to the artist who she looks up to and loves the most. Like, so excited, and he's just like, hey, did you buy my song? You got your computer with you? You got it? Go get it. You get my song? You buy it? I don't believe you. Do you buy it and stream it? Show me the receipt, idiot. You get it? Did you fucking get it? Oh, you did? Oh. You're the best fan. You're the best fan in the world. We love you, and I love you now. My god. Fuck you, Justin Bieber. <laughs> That is disgusting, okay? Shame on you. Shame. And it's not like this was like an isolated incident, dude. It, he's, he did it like several times with a bunch of different people, man. Have you bought Yummy on iTunes? Uh, it's yucky. Don't get me wrong, I, I totally understand self-promotion, dude. I literally started this video by promoting my stand-up shows next month. I get it, you have to do that, but man. Don't fucking force people and make them feel bad if they didn't stream or buy your song enough, right? People are busy, man. Maybe people can't afford to buy your fucking song about eating babies. Maybe maybe they don't have time. Maybe they don't have time to, to stream your song over and over again, right? The only person to blame for your song not being number one is you. Sorry. Or maybe there's some other artist that's blowing up right now and like taking your spot. Fucking Oh no, <laughs> right? I'm not gonna sit here and act like, oh, I'm so much better than Justin Bieber. But dude, like imagine if, imagine if I did that same thing, you know? Hmm. Hey, hey, I, I know you from YouTube. <laughs> cool, did you, uh, did you watch my new video yet? Just put, I just put it what? out today. <laughs> no, I haven't had the time. I, I've, I've, just, I've, been, I've been here at the mall today, so. <laughs> Did you did you listen to my my podcast episode that I put out yesterday? Did you do that at least? No, I'm I've actually been really busy unfortunately. Yesterday I had to I had to take my parents to go visit our our, our grandmother who's in the hospital. She's very sick. And when we were at the hospital, my mom and my dad, they fell down the elevator shaft. So now they're in the hospital too. So I've just been I've just been really busy and I, I just haven't had the time. Wow, I'm so sorry that you haven't been able to watch my video yet. Did, did you did you at least buy my merch? You got it. You've got to get my merch, right? Yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, well then why aren't you wearing it? Well, it's dirty. It's dirty? You made it dirty? Because I wore it. Seriously, just watch my video. Aren't you a fan? You said you like me, right everyone? This is Come weird. On, just Come watch on. the video. Seriously, just, just watch, watch it. It's not that hard. Just Dude, watch the video. Just watch the video. Come on, man. Come on. Just we watch the video. Just watch the video. Like, really really watch the video. Come on. Come on. You said you liked them. Come on. You said Come that. We heard you. Just press play. Alright, okay, fine. I'll watch it. Jesus Christ, man. Okay. Look, I'm pulling it up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you've been crushing yes. it as a fan. How's it going? And if you're coming, absolutely yes. crushing it, it. Doing everybody so around the world so proud. Doing well. Okay. As I'm filming this video, Yummy is at number nine on like the overall iTunes charts and number three on the pop charts, and that's great, dude. Justin, you have a top 
10 song in the world, dude, after not making music for years. That's amazing. And also I understand that he's under a lot of pressure, dude. I can't even imagine, dude. Like I put a lot of pressure on myself and what I do and I'm just a fucking YouTuber, dude. But like, come on, buddy. Come on. I wanna show you guys one more video that Justin did that kind of illustrates every issue that I have with him at the moment. Uh, so let's watch that. I'm doing everything I can on my end. Yeah, Lele, let, let, let's get it to number one. Let's go. Go stream it right now. If you're on here, go stream Yummy. Like, please. Oh, man. Because I really want this freaking spot. I need all of the help I can get. All right, guys, go stream it. Love you. Bye. I'm doing everything I can on my end, dude. <laughs> hey, I held up my end of the bargain, and that was to make a mediocre pop song with weird lyrics about eating babies. And you guys aren't, and you guys aren't listening to it enough. You guys, you guys didn't even get a VNP app to, to listen to it all night. <laughs> Again, I don't know what it's like to be one of the most famous people in the world, dude. That must be crazy. And I didn't want this video to be like, just fuck you, Justin, idiot. This is cringe. Like, I mean, even though I kind of just said that a few minutes ago, but that's not my intention, okay? Believe me. <laughs> I just can't really get over like the, just like the desperation he has to get that number one spot, you know? Like he took all those years off to focus on himself, his mental health. Um, and to make himself just feel better so he can come back and make music, right? The thing that he loves to do. And that's great. That's amazing. I'm so proud of him that he did that. You would think after taking all that time off, you know, getting married, all that stuff, you would think he wouldn't come back worrying about like, oh, I need the spot. I need the number one spot. That's all that matters, dude. Like a pretty similar comparison to this whole situation would be uh, with Harry Styles, right? Harry Styles, Justin Bieber, two insanely popular musicians with immense pressure on them to, to chart, make money, sell records and all that. But listen to this snippet from Harry Styles' um, Beats One interview. For so long, especially in the band, it was like every album got bigger and every tour got bigger and it was like always growing. And I think when I went to make the first record, it was kind of freeing because I felt like, well, I don't have to do this anymore. If you're happy doing what you're doing, then nobody can tell you you're not successful. Dude, comparing that to Justin Bieber's live streams, dude, it's night and day, dude. I need you to purchase on our iTunes. And that might not be a fair comparison to make because if you compare anyone to Harry Styles, the other person's gonna look like absolute dog shit. The man is perfect. Wow. But you know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say, right? When you make good music, people are gonna listen to it. You know, it's the same thing as like movies. When you make a good movie, a lot more people are gonna go see it, which actually gives me a really good idea, okay? Justin, if you want the number one spot, if that's what you want more than anything, just do what Hollywood does, man. Just make sequels. I guarantee you, dude, if Justin Bieber made One Less Lonely Girl 2, oh, that's the number one spot for sure. You look me dead in the eyes and you tell me that if Justin Bieber put out One Time 2, the second time, or Baby two, what's for dessert? That he would not get the number one spot? Yeah, you can't, okay? You can't do that. In conclusion, Justin Bieber, in the wise words of Tyra Banks, never in my life have I yelled at a girl like this. When my mother yells like this is because she loves me. I was rooting for you, we were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? All right, now that we're all done talking about Justin Bieber, it's time to talk about the real reason you clicked on this video, and that is the ad read. And today's sponsor, which fits very well, is ExpressVPN. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know all about ExpressVPN and why it's so good. But if you haven't given it a try yet, now is the perfect time. I travel a lot, uh, you know, when I do shows and stuff, and whether I'm at like a hotel or an airport, I always have to use like public Wi-Fi connections. And if I don't use ExpressVPN while using those connections, I'm wide open to all these stinky little hackers who will just steal all my stuff, dude, it's scary. And if a hacker steals your information online, they can open bank accounts in your name, look through your emails, 
access your social media passwords, all because you didn't have ExpressVPN protection. Ooh. ExpressVPN actually encrypts your data, which prevents people from sniffing your information when you use a public Wi-Fi network. Another amazing thing about ExpressVPN is they have servers in 94 countries. So if there's something that you wanna watch that isn't available in your region, just switch over to the appropriate server, two clicks, and now you can consume that sweet, sweet content, dude. ExpressVPN has the fastest speeds, they have apps for every device, it's super easy to use, and it was rated the number one VPN service by Tech Radar. Now this all sounds great, I know, but what makes it even better is you can get ExpressVPN for less than $7 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you have no reason not to give it a go, my guy. So take back your internet privacy today and find out how you can get three months free when you click the link in my description or just go to expressvpn.com slash curtistown. Thanks again to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Back to you, Curtis. All right, thank you so much for watching me complain about a celebrity. Uh, I'm the first person to ever do that. So if you could like this video, that would, that would mean so much. <laughs> one like actually equals one baby saved from Justin Bieber's hungry, hungry face. So just like the video to save a baby. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you think of this whole um, J. Beeb situation. Um, cause yeah, it's just so weird. I've never seen anything like it. And, um, so let's talk about it, dude. Let's just fucking vibe down in the comment section. <laughs> also, don't forget to press the subscribe button cause I make a video every single week and they're so much fun. And as soon as you press that subscribe button, you become a valued member of Curtis Town. If you don't know, Curtis Town is the best place to live in the world and I'm the mayor. So you have to be nice to me. It's the law. If you want to see the other stuff I do, check out the description. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, check out my weekly podcast called Very Really Good. If you enjoy my videos, you'll enjoy the podcast as well. It's a good time. Also, I got merch down there. Uh, I also got some shows coming up. Please come to the shows. I really want that number one show spot. I really need it. <laughs> um, all right, that's it. that's it for the video, though. Thank you so much for watching. Seriously, it means the world. I um, hope you enjoyed it. I got to go, though. Uh, I got to go pee into a restaurant mop bucket to make our boy Justin proud. Okay, bye. <laughs>